What's up everybody, this is Bruce, aka Geektacular, and today I've got another unboxing for you. Today we're going to be unboxing the new Ultraman release in Mill Creek's uh, Ultraman series of releases called Ultraman Nexus, and it also contains the series Ultraman the Next. So, this is... Um, this is actually, well, it's not a, it's a special movie, basically. This is a series from 2004 to 2005, so that's when both of these are from, the special and the series. Um, Mill Creek, this, um, this North American company, Mill Creek, a few years ago actually got the rights to release for the first time all of the Ultraman franchise in North America, uh, which is, this is the first time that that's happened. Uh, we've gotten a few series here and there released over the years, but this is a series that's been running since the 1960s and still is going strong today in 2022. Um, they've been making a new season or a new series every year or so since the 60s. So this is a very long running series um, in Japan, but we haven't gotten a ton of it here. Uh, in the U.S., so the fact that Mill Creek is releasing essentially the entire franchise over here in North America for the first time is awesome. So I've been picking them up as they come along. They usually tend to release one or two new releases every several months, so it's usually every like three months or so they'll release like two new things, something like that. So this is the latest one. Um, they've been releasing them kind of in tandem with the old ones and the new ones. I believe they've already released pretty much all of the older series from night from the original um, Ultra Q in the '60s all the way through like the '80s or so. Um, and now, and they've done most of the newer series from the 20 teens already. Um, so now they're kind of filling out the middle of like the 2000s and the 90s and that kind of that kind of region of Ultraman history. So um, this is the latest release again from 2004, 2005. Um, so let me go ahead and take a look at this here. Um, yeah, the um, the it kind of varies also the sort of type of format is, that is available for each release that Mill Creek comes out with because um, they just use essentially the masters that are sent to them from the Japanese company that makes Ultraman. So um, uh, generally, if they have a high-definition copy of a series, they'll send it to Mill Creek, and Mill Creek will release it like that. If they only have a standard-definition DVD copy, then that's what, get put, that's what gets put out. So basically all the newer ones are in Blu-ray and a bunch of the classic ones. But most of the ones from like the 80s, um, the mid 80s through like the 90s and early 2000s are pretty much all on just DVD. Um, Mill Creek used to have their own streaming service, but they don't anymore. So these also don't come with digital codes or anything like that. These are just the straight up DVDs. Um, so just to look here, this is a regular kind of multi-disc clear, frosted clear um, case here. This is the front. They always do really cool sort of like unique um, artwork and um, takes on the art and stuff, which is, is really nice. Um, it's got a really cool looking spine as well, like usual. This is a six disc set here. And then here is the back. Here. So you see they give some a little bit of you know basic facts about each one. Both of these come with the original Dolby Digital Stereo, so 2.0 um, audio with English subtitles. And they come in their original aspect ratios. So as you can see, this is like a 90-minute special, and this is like 15 hours of, <laughs> of show here. Um, so it totals almost 17 hours, like 16 hours and 47 minutes. Um, this is Region 1 and TSC. DVD right here. So let's go take a look on the inside here. Ooh, this one does come. So sometimes these releases come with a, oops, that disc just straight up was not secured. Oh boy, that's fine. Uh, so make sure that this is actually in the spindle before you uh, turn that to the side, I guess. Um, but yeah, so this one actually does come with an information episode guide. Some of the releases do not. It kind of just depends um, 
they put this together often for um, the more prominent releases. So I really love when they do include this, but just don't count on it. If you get one that doesn't have an episode guide, um, just kind of know that it's probably just, that's just how it is. Um, it's not 100% of the releases that have one of these, but I would say the majority do. So, but it's not unusual for a couple releases here and there to just not have one. So this is the information episode guide. As you can see here, it gives you kind of information about the heroes, like all of the gear and tech, uh, tech that they use. And then a bunch of the um, monsters, enemies, kaiju, all that good stuff. Always super cool designs. That's one of the main reasons I love uh, kaiju films. I love Super Sentai, Power Rangers, Ultraman. Because I just love like the monster design. It's so creative and they always have super cool um, outfits and, and ideas. So you get all that and you get little episode blurbs that kind of summarize what happens in the episode in order with the titles and director and all that. And some cool artwork in the back there. There's some advertisements for the rest of the series. Um, and then also, like a lot of their releases, there's really cool inner art on these too. You can see there. You can see there, so you kind of see it right there. So the inner artwork there looks really cool. Um, just to show you the discs here, here is disc one. Disc two. And like usual, there's unique artwork on all the discs, or on some of the discs at least. These ones appear to all be the same actually. Of course I say that and they're not all the same. The last one is actually different. Um, so I guess all the ones for Nexus are the same. Sometimes they have different art. Disc two, disc three, disc four, disc five, and then Ultraman the Next, which is the sixth disc, does have some different artwork on it, which is cool. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, it doesn't come with a slip cover or anything like that. It's just all six of those discs and this um, information episode guide in this uh, clear frosted um, multi-disc DVD case. And that's about it. So yeah, I, the, uh, most of these releases don't come with that much extra stuff or anything. Uh, sometimes it has a slip cover. Sometimes they'll be on Blu-ray if they have HD versions. Um, sometimes they'll have an episode guide. Sometimes they won't. But yeah, so... I feel like it's good just to kind of be able to see what's in each release and you can kind of decide if you don't want to just collect them all, which is what I'm doing, <laughs> you can kind of pick and choose and decide which ones you want to pick up uh, based on what they come with. So yeah, thanks everybody for watching this. I feel like this unboxing, go ahead and give me a thumbs up down below. That would be awesome. Um, if you like Ultraman, I have a whole playlist where I unbox every single Mill Creek Ultraman release. Um, I have all the ones they've released so far, even the um, retailer exclusive Ultraman Day releases. There's two of those. I got those two. Um, and every single release that they come out with thus far. So if you're interested in seeing how any or all of the others look, if you're thinking about picking those up, just check out my channel, check out the playlist that this is on, and you will see all of the rest of my unboxings for Ultraman. So um, yeah, thanks everybody for watching this. Um, put down in the comments what you're looking forward to next. If there's any Ultraman series they haven't released yet or announced that you would like to see, I'd be kind of interested to hear if anybody's clamoring for those. And yeah, thanks everybody for watching. I'll catch you next time.